Alrighty guys, welcome back to another Sky Wars Duels video. Today we're going to just be continuing the grind because this is all I play now. Okay, obviously that was a joke. Um, I, I don't really upload Sky Wars Duels videos because um, I don't know what I'd do in them. But uh, I do Sky Wars videos because I do know what to do with them. I feel like it's been a while since I've done like an actual Skywars commentary. Not like a ranked Skywars commentary, but just like... Just... Insane mode com Anyways, I have a few things I want to talk about in this video. Uh, but the main one is, uh... Thumbnails, and... I, I'm returning to doing 3D renders again for thumbnails. Die. Goodbye. Alright, so if you, if, if you don't know, um... Like, a couple years ago, people used to always do like 3d renders for their thumbnails and, uh, yeah pvp thumbnails or just minecraft thumbnails in general they were pretty much all 3d renders like some would include like just screenshots of a game or something but like over that would be a, a render of a 3d minecraft person but uh, yeah over time we uh just started doing a lot more 2d stuff like with the red pointy arrows and well, well now this talk about minimalism so yeah I, I, I don't know I, I've noticed it um, we went from doing complete I, I used to actually do like 100% of my thumbnails just in blender um, but sometimes I'd go and paint on that and add a smile to my character because I didn't know how to do that in blender but that was pretty much it all my thumbnails just used to be 3d renders majority of them ones that I actually did thumbnails for so uh, yeah we went from basically doing like just cool 3d renders to um, to taking a screenshot and adding a blur effect and then it's a good thumbnail I don't know I jumped over that but okay but uh, yeah I was just browsing YouTube one day and I saw that uh, I don't know who it was. I think it might have been like a, it was either AOE or so like. But anyways, uh, the thumbnail for a stream was a 3D render, and I got a little bit nostalgic. So I downloaded Blender, and uh, I kind of relearned how to use it. Now it took me a while, like just figuring out how to import my skin. Probably took me two hours. But. Like, let's not be surprised. It's been probably two years now since I've used Blender. And I'm not gonna count my profile picture or my channel banner because I didn't even make my channel banner. I had someone make it for me on Fiverr. Also, my profile picture, I didn't even like touch the camera. I imported a rig for the first time in a year and I just moved move the arm in his head and th that was pretty much it and I struggled doing that yeah other than that it's been pretty much two years since I've done anything seriously with blender yeah once I like relearned everything like all the key binds I still forgot uh how to make the camera move when you're already previewing it I thought it was like a uh, shift f and then you could just like do w a s and d and move the camera around but I guess not so uh, yeah now I just have to manually move it which is kind of annoying because I can't like preview it like to see what the camera sees when I'm moving it, but whatever. Goodbye. Goodbye. But yeah, I'm probably not gonna like do what I used to do a while ago and just have the entire thumbnail be a uh, 3D render. Okay, please. actually take a mix of like current modern thumbnail making and combined it with like 
2017 and 2018 thumbnails. I don't know. I'll find out a way to make it work. But that's pretty much it for the thumbnails. Also, uh, the Cops and Crims tournament, I played it. I wouldn't say competed because I didn't really compete that well. Oh god. Out of like the 40 games I ended up playing, I think I won 10. I'm not even sure though. I don't even think I maxed out my games to be honest. I think it was once I maxed out my tribute for that tournament, I just stopped playing because that's really all I cared about. Look, I want a diamond piercer. It's a really nice perk. Oh! Like, just there, I got a single hit, and somehow I got diamond piercer twice. Okay. For those that don't know what diamond piercer is, it's basically a perk that, um, if your opponent ha has a diamond armor, it's a 20% chance to do 20% more damage to your opponent. So, it, it's a really nice perk. I never actually realized how much I kind of enjoyed Cops and Crims until the tournament, because I knew I wanted to, like, play in it a little bit, but I didn't, like, I did a little bit of practice before the tournament started. So I ended up playing, started upgrading my stats, I guess. And it was kind of fun, like, doing the Team Deathmatch version. The fusel was more annoying because you couldn't respawn, but that was the tournament, so I had to like basically practice it. Goodbye. Also, Lunar updated, which is nice. Uh, they added a pack display and a few other things, like you can now kind of see a preview of your custom cursor. Ah, open the chest. No, 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 and no. But uh, yeah, the tournament was fun. I enjoyed it. But, yeah, they had a day counter for Minecraft. They had a Nick Hider, pack display, and a preview option and custom crosshair, which is kind of cool. Now, they haven't added the major mod yet, which is replay mod, but they are adding it because I was in the Discord one day and Someone said that they should add replay mod, and it was like a chat mod that said that they're already working on it, so... It's confirmed, I guess. I guess it's not officially confirmed. The chat mod may have false information. It's, it's a Discord chat mod. Uh, yeah, who knows. Hello. Ah. Good. Bye. I know I haven't really been uploading a lot, um, and I want to fix that. And whenever I, like, don't upload, I usually end up streaming because, um, I don't have anything else to upload <laughs> or do for the channel, which kind of caused the channel to die. I've been losing a little bit of subscribers, which is fine. But I don't really want my channel to be like just infested with a, uh, a ton of streams. And I'm not going to go unlist all of them because that would be a lot of work and I don't want to do that and I'm lazy. The reason why I, I haven't actually really been uploading is because of duels. I'm pretty sure I already said this in my previous update video. <laughs> oh god. Yep. So the original goal was to pass Thomas uh, or Kaika, for those that don't know, in Skyward's duels wins. Um, that's gonna take 
a while. Because yes, I am starting to get close to passing him in Skyward Stools wins, and I have passed him in, own, in overall wins. But I've also been grinding like a lot of other games like Sumo. Oh god. Okay, you got that kill, and now I'm scared. Stop lagging back! Thank you. Hello. Goodbye. Hello. Goodbye. Hello. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> yeah, he's like a uh, Skyward's Grandmaster too, and I'm like 500 wins away from getting Skyward's Legend five, so that's gonna be a while. So yeah, I'm not I'm not gonna try to pass him in Skyward's Duels wins anymore. Um, I'm not gonna be grinding duels anymore soon. Basically, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep grinding Skyward's Duels until I get just Grandmaster, um, which in itself is gonna be a while. And then by the time I end up getting Grandmaster for uh, Skywars Duels, I will actually be really close to just Skywars, I mean not Skywars, uh, Duels Grandmaster just overall. Uh, hello. Hi. Um, please, please wait. Okay, let's do this. We. Oh, you, um, stayed up there and you followed me. Strange choice. Goodbye. So, yeah, once I get, like, Skyward's uh, Grandmaster 1, I'll probably just, like, play UHC more and grind that out and until I get, like, just Duels Grandmaster. Then, yeah, I'm gonna stop grinding Duels for a very long time. I'll probably start, like, grinding it again, like, sometime in the future, but not anytime soon. I used to average like 150 to 200 wins a day in duels. Um, like last month I got 2,200 wins, which is a lot to me after taking a week off during that week anyways. Anyways, thanks for watching. The anyways, thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed, drop a like and of course subscribe if you're new. And uh, yeah, I'll see you all next video. Goodbye.